Here we have a Dell Optimax 9030. It is the same thing as a Dell Instron 5000 series. So we're going to flip to the back to start off. Remember to put on something soft so you don't scratch it. There's a button behind the leg. Press the button in and lift the legs up. You don't need any screws for this as this is new user friendly, tool free. So there's two buttons where my hand's pointing to. Push it. You push it away from the center and a red dot should show up. I accidentally just pushed it in. So you just lift it up and it comes off. Just put a bit of force in it. So that's the DVD drive. That's backup control, fan, power supply, the other fan. There's the USB and the motherboard behind that. That's the RAM slot, so you can open that to easy access your RAM. There's two RAM slots, so maximum 16 gigs. So there's a button here. Just press the button down. Use two hands as a Sometimes this button does go down when you pull it, and you just slide it open. As I told you before, it's tool free. So that's the graphic card fan, the graphic card don't know that. So when we remove the RAM, we push the two sides out and the RAM pops up. So now we're going to remove the hard drive. You don't need to remove these screws. This is a mistake. If you remove these screws, you can remove the metal cage around the hard drive. If you just want to change the hard drive, that's unnecessary. You just press the blue tab down. There, and you drag it out, and it comes out. I'm just going to put the two screws back. So I don't need them. There's a free M.2 slot, slot right next to the hard drive bay, but only fits a 40 mil M.2 card. It's a wireless card. It's a CPU underneath. These are that is a power reset button. This is what's different between the the Inspiron and the Optimax. And that's basically it. This is relatively simple. There's no tools needed for this. You just need your bare hands. I also like to mention again that um, the Optimix and the uh, Inspiron are exactly the same. It's just that the software installed onto it, the BIOS software, is different. And that's basically it. Thanks for watching.